George Littleton, 1st Baron Littleton PC, January 17, 1709, August 22, 1773, known as Sir George Littleton, B.T. between 1751 and 1756, was a British statesman and patron of the arts from the Littleton family. Background and Education Lord Littleton was the son of Sir Thomas Littleton, 4th Baronet, by his wife Christian daughter of Sir Richard Temple, 3rd Baronet. He was educated at Eton and Christ Church, Oxford. Political career. He was Member of Parliament, MP, for Rockhampton from 1735 to 1756. In 1741 he was also elected for Old Sarum, but chose to continue to sit for Rockhampton. He was one of the politicians who opposed Robert Walpole as a member, one of Cobham's Cubs, of the Whig opposition the 1730s. He served as secretary to Frederick, Prince of Wales, from 1737, and as a commissioner of the Treasury in 1744. After Walpole's fall, Littleton became Chancellor of the Exchequer, 1755. In 1756 he was raised to the peerage as Lord Littleton, Baron of Frankley in the county of Worcester. Arts Patronage Lord Littleton was a friend and supporter to Alexander Pope in the 1730s and to Henry Fielding in the 1750s. James Thompson addresses him throughout his poem The Seasons, and Littleton arranged a pension for Thompson. He wrote Dialogues of the Dead in 1760 with Elizabeth Montagu, leader of the Blue Stockings, and the History of the Life of Henry II, 1767 1771. The former work is part of a tradition of such dialogues. Henry Fielding dedicated Tom Jones to him. Littleton spent many years and a fortune developing Hagley Hall and its park, which contains many follies. The hall itself, which is in North Worcestershire, was designed by Sanderson Miller and is the last of the great Palladian houses to be built in England. Dialogue with Gilbert West In the 1740s, Littleton and Gilbert West went to Oxford. There, they agreed to research two key points of Christianity, with the aim of proving them false. Littleton set out to prove that Saul of Tarsus was never really converted to Christianity, and West intended to demonstrate that Jesus never really rose from the dead. Each planned to do a painstaking job, taking a year to establish his case. But as they proceeded, they eventually concluded that Christianity was true and became Christians. West eventually wrote observations on the history and evidences of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Littleton wrote a lengthy text titled Observations on the Conversion and Apostleship of St. Paul. In a letter to Gilbert West, Esquire West became convinced of the truth of the resurrection, and Littleton of the genuine conversion of St. Paul on the basis of it. For example, Littleton wrote to West in 1761. Sir, in a late conversation we had together upon the subject of the Christian religion, I told you that besides all the proofs of it which may be drawn from the prophecies of the Old Testament, from the necessary connection it has with the whole system of the Jewish religion, from the miracles of Christ, and from the evidence given of his reflection by all the other apostles, I thought the conversion and apostleship of St. Paul alone, duly considered, was of itself a demonstration sufficient to prove Christianity a divine revelation. Family Lord Littleton married firstly Lucy, daughter of Hugh Fortescue, in 1742. After her death in 1747 he married secondly Elizabeth, daughter of Field Marshal Sir Robert Rich, 4th Baronet, in 1749. He died in August 1773 aged 64, and was buried in Christ Church Cathedral. He was succeeded by his eldest son from his first marriage, Thomas. Mm -hmm.